Yo, what's up everyone? It's Infos. Today I will finally be doing the long awaited Justina. I've seen so many people asking for her and I'm sorry it took me so long to get around to it. Hopefully this video does great. Now let's start now. Starting with her F abilities aka skills. I will say right now do not ever use the third one. As much as it sounds kind of cool that you can block teammates in ice for 3 seconds along with you and you all heal up. The heal value is not great. And ironically, it could grief your teammates more than it helps them. That's just a heads up. Now, going into it, it'll be her first two that are the best. The first one has moments where it can be really good because you can heal up quite a bit of armor while you are in it. So that will always be useful. But the second one has to be the best because you can break an attack and also peel for teammates that are in the middle of a gold focus. Now, starting off with the first F ability, this works like some other characters where it can be a soft combo break. So if it's not something that truly connects to each other, you can activate it and cancel what they're doing. As you see, it heals 600 armor, which is very useful. I will say this one can be great in solos and even team modes. Yet again, the second one just has to be the best though. All right, now we'll be getting into the second ability. This one's my personal favorite. It's just really nice if better break something mid combo like that. Also, if they hit you and the stagger animation happens, you could cancel it directly into an attack. The first F also has an option to do this, but obviously you're trading out heal value, which could be massive. Like I said, I just prefer the second one. It's up to choice. You could run the first one. It, it works perfectly fine. Just know that it's nice having a combo break because there are some combos in this game that can full kill you if you do not have one. Okay, so now on the ultimates, there's actually a lot to break down for these. The first two work very similar with this one having two uses and this one having three at base. This one can actually freeze people while they're in the middle of a blue focus. So that does have good uses. And for people that are new, this may be better to start off with. This one though, even though it only has three uses, if you go through multiple people, you get to use another dash without using any energy. That is actually so useful and I could showcase some of that. Now the third ultimate, the best way that that goes is that you can use it to heal or even peel for teammates. So you can throw this and make a path between the enemy and your teammates. And if they try to get to them, they'll get frozen and you can obviously do things off of that like a focus attack, all types of cool things. This is definitely more of a team mode one though. And solos I do not recommend. The first one's better to just get out or even get in. They all have great uses though. Okay, so there are multiple different ways to use the first ultimate ability. First, I'm gonna show the dashing through two enemies. As you see, I have 60% ult. I'll use this dash. Now I'm at 40, but if you look beside the ult bar, there's a little yellow thing right here. That shows that I have a free dash. Notice I dash and I've, I'm still at 40. So as long as you're going through two people, you can actually just keep your bar at 40% and not use any ult. So this can be very handy in team modes as people will gather up a lot and you can take advantage of this. Keep that in mind. Now to showcase another way on how to use V1, you can use it to interrupt people that are in blue focus into a light attack directly to a freeze again into a focus of your own. As you see right here, I just did it. It's a really good way to open up your enemy. Obviously it uses two of your three dashes though, so it can be risky. This is more meant for when they're at low HP. But I just wanted to show a way that you can open up an enemy with it that's very valid while you're on V1. Because the difference with V1 and V2 is that you can freeze people in blue on V2. So I wanted to show how to counter that and make usage of your dash. One final thing I had forgotten to mention with Justina's dashes. This works on V1 and V2 by the way. Is whenever you dash, the way to cancel it directly into attack is by holding your horizontal or vertical. So if you see, this will be a full regular dash. But yet, if there's an enemy and stuff, whenever you dash at them, you can cancel it instantly by holding a focus right there. This is very essential for Justina because this is the way that she fights with her dashes. Okay, now to showcase V2. Like I said, it works a lot like V1, but instead you can actually go through blue focus attacks directly into a freeze. I'll showcase that now. As you've seen earlier, I had to do something special to open them up. This time I don't. I highly recommend this one for newer players as you guys still have to learn how to open up your enemies. It'll come over time. V1 has a higher skill gap, of course, but V2 is more simple and easier to get into her. All right, now lastly, to get into the final ultimate, this one's unique as you can actually pop it and only use 50% of your ult. As you see, I will pop it and I'll use 50. The best thing about this is it's a big wall of ice. You can actually get behind this and use your heals while the enemies are on the other side and they can't really pressure you or they'll get frozen just like that. I'd say that this is a very good trio ultimate because as you can tell, 
it just pressures people a lot differently no, as they cannot really push I'm you the way that they'd want to that'll be all for today's video thank you guys so That's much let me know in the comments if there's something i missed and that you want to know about i appreciate right. you guys so much and i will see y'all in the next video